This is Earth Man from Origami Soil. Here to bring you more tales from the soil. What do we got here? Well, we have my IMO of my indigenous microbes, but I've changed the name. They're more in dominant microbes, organisms. And the reason being is it's just not my um, leaves and soil from my local area in there, but uh, collected from Virginia to Alaska to uh, the Anirondack Forest in New York, you know, the Blue Ridge Mountains. Uh, just collected different soil samples from all different areas. There's worm castings. Also, there is my own brand of uh, Bokashi in there with a lactate bacteria and uh, non-sulfur purple bacteria. Also, what I've mixed in there are a whole bunch of stuff that I got from my friend in India, uh, a bioengineer, whatever, a guy who designs, you know, whatever, doesn't design, but harvests large amounts of different type of bacteria and fungi for agricultural inputs and um, organic use. Um, what I got from him are phosphate mobilizer, uh, silica mobile, you know, salva, whatever. They, just things that break down different metals like sulfur, uh, bacteria that breaks down magnesium, bacteria that breaks down um, uh, silica, uh, iron. Um, I have uh, uh, VAMs in there, um, you know, uh, uh, vascular uh, mycorrhizal. I have endomycorrhizal in there. I also have uh, just uh, just a whole bunch of other different type of bacteria so and these all are designed to be dominant soil microorganisms and so and here's another thing um, uh, traditional IMO is made from uh, rice undercooked um, I didn't have any at the time uh, I know it seems pathetic but I didn't have any so but I did have at hand at the end of the meal some uh, organic wheat berries and so I decided to use those and I got about a cup in there, a cup and a half. And as you can see, uh, the mycocillin is very heavy, a lot of mycocillin. So um, that's what you want to do. Uh, if you want to make your own IMO, uh, in, my, in my case DMO, you got to go and collect a whole bunch of different type of uh, bacteria that are beneficial for plant use that all have particular use. Uh, usefulness in the soil and are able to work together with other microbes to form harmony in the soil to break down all that organic matter that's in the soil available in everybody's soil if the soil is conditioned properly uh, not rock hard uh, clay or just you know chunky dead soil but soil that has life in it uh, proper life and so and not only that all these bacteria they emit uh, enzymes and acids and stuff and hormones uh, things that the plant needs for just uh, its defense system uh, and maximize uh, antioxidant um, uh, uh, production and enzyme productions and uh, just the other, the protein and carbo, uh, sugar production. There's everything uh, that a plant needs from bacteria and fungi that you ain't going to get from chemical. Uh, no way. And not even uh, organic if you're just uh, relying on organic liquids instead of uh, your soil to feed your plant and keep it alive. So what we have here, once again, are wheat berries, about a cup and a half. I put it into this uh, plastic bin down the road. I'm going to get a wooden box. I'm going to start relying, stop relying on plastic as much. But it was at hand. And so I put the rice in this black plastic thing, uh, tray, and put that inside the bin here. And then I put the, uh, you know, uh, the plastic bag over it and kept it in a cool place in my basement. And as you can see, boom, the life is abundant. Uh, not only that, uh, did it develop there, but look at on the side here where I, you know, I didn't try to promote this or anything. It just happens. Uh, that is how lively the soil is. I have a little infestation of fruit fly, but nothing major. I have contained it to one area, not my soil production area. Uh, so... Don't panic. Uh, everything is under control with the, our soil here at Origami. So, but look at that. 
stuff. I look at the life in it. And, you know, you see I got leaves in there. And I got, I, I just got back from Virginia again. Or not again, but Virginia. And I grabbed some really nice soil from trees that were had real fluffy, you know, um, ground around it. And mycocillin was popping out all around. And I got it from different places on a mountain, on the valley. You know, different sources of different type of microorganisms. And brought them home. And there you go. So now, what am I going to do with this uh, delicious plant stuff? I can't just leave it like this. What I'm going to do is uh, I want to be able to sustain it and uh, keep it stable and for my own personal use down the road for different soils uh, and things that I have, uh, I'm, you know, that I'm going to be selling uh, to, uh, to the public. Uh, through grow shops and online and stuff and so um, I'm gonna mix this uh, with uh, some brown sugar and some molasses um, it probably uh, I'm gonna probably put all that brown sugar in there I want to say it's like um, you know like a couple cups worth maybe two cups of brown and then maybe a little bit of molasses like a couple tablespoons of molasses and then mix it up real good and then I'll just hold it like that for a while it should stand for at least six months if you keep it cool and then what you do is you take about um, uh, I would say a couple tablespoons of that and add it to uh, maybe uh, like a quarter cup you add it to five gallons of dechlorinated good uh, uh, you know clean water and um, and then you uh, bubble it with you know whatever some bubbling system of whatever one you want you can get some uh, fish uh, uh, tank stuff uh, equipment with bubblers and things like that rather cheap at Walmart and then you bubble it for uh, about at least 12 hours uh, 24 is good and then um, boom you use that to water your crops uh, water your plant your soil uh, Filer spray, whatever, and you're going to give uh, whatever you treat a healthy dose of uh, just great microbes. Now, what do you do? Well, uh, well, you can, uh, like I said, you can collect your own soil samples from around, or you can just get what's available in your area. Just if you got a nice compost pile going, uh, you know, uh, you can grab some of those leaves that have been composting, and um, there's a lot of good. Uh, bacteria on that and maybe dig up a little soil by a tree next to your house that looks real healthy and has a good root system and the ground's real fluffy like you know in the forest is really good places to get those samples so um, now you mix that together with uh, you know your leaves and then like I said you cook uh, whatever amount of rice that you want you know a pound or less um, and then you put it in something and you put that uh, container into the, the other container that has the soil you cover it up with a bag of some sort or a cover or a lid and come back to it about a week later I check it out about five days to seven days after mix the appropriate amount of brown sugar uh, or molasses or both to it and then there like I said there you go you can make your own IMO very simple and uh, I did a bunch of videos, a uh, process, uh, blah, blah, blah. But I thought, just, you know, knock it out all at once, one video. It is easy to make your own IMO. And then to, it's very important, um, brothers and sisters, it's very important for you. It's very important for you to populate your soil with as much bacteria as you can. And so, this is Earthman signing off. You have a great day.